What's going on, FA Nation? John Pemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream recording here for Friday's eight game main slate. James, day number two back from the All Star break. We had nine games there on Thursday. Pretty exciting uh, nine games. Also, an interesting nine games as we had players ruled out due to rest, some ruled out due to injury maintenance, some ruled out due to plane issues. Uh, Damian Lillard, Jeremy Grant. Notably not playing Thursday because they were just sitting on a plane for five hours apparently waiting for it to leave Portland. Uh, we have a couple of teams out of the gate on a back-to-back here, which I think is like, you know, what is the NBA doing? You know, we have Cleveland here on a back-to-back going up against Atlanta who did not play. We have Golden State on a back-to-back here uh, who played last night against the Lakers. We have OKC Uh, On a back-to-back here, going up against Phoenix and Sacramento on a back-to-back going up against the Clippers. So uh, some teams out of the gate kind of getting jipped by the schedule here. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been screaming from the rooftops. There's just no need for this. And (laughs) it's just going to continue, I guess, to, you know, rear its ugly head. We did get word um, at least one of the teams on a back-to-back, Clay Thompson, should be playing back-to-backs throughout the second half of the year. We'll see if that remains true um steve kerr has lied before he's gonna lie again about it so um he said he'll be we'll on the floor see. he didn't say he'll play you know <laughs> yeah yeah um so we'll see how how things shape out but um interesting games today uh nicks washington 225 total washington getting to at home cleveland as you mentioned out of back-to-back 226 uh they are one point dogs john yeah. hmm you know, we thought there was a suspicious line with Cleveland. I think it was a few weeks back against... And everyone played, and everybody they won by, played. like, 50. And they yeah. won by, like, 50 in that game. Yeah, yeah. Everybody ended up playing. We thought, like, oh, for sure Mitchell's sitting or Garland's sitting here, and, and they didn't. But it is suspicious that they're on the road, second night of a back-to-back, out of a break, and they're underdogs. It's like Vegas thinks that they're going to sit people. We just don't. They're, they're just one of the, the less predictable teams when it comes to... Guys sitting. I'll also say this: Evan Mobley last night. I yeah. mean, big time performance going up against yeah. the, the Nuggets there. Yeah, I mean, I just don't get it. Like they're thirty eight and twenty four. Mm-hmm. Like they are in the four seed, just a few games back of being a three seed. Right. Running up against right? an like, Atlanta team that fired their coach and won't have John Collins. And mm-hmm. yeah, and there's clearly turmoil between him and and them as a franchise and Trey Young. Like mm-hmm. I just don't understand this line. Um, so something to pay attention to moving forward. If I mean, look, if you have some money to throw around, I'm not a betting expert, John. Yeah, but I would take Cleveland plus one. Like I I, I wrote a up an million article million times over. I wrote up a, an article. You know, we've been doing some of those sportsbook promotion pieces. You give a pick and a play. Uh, and I had the Atlanta Cleveland game and I, I took Cleveland plus one for that reason. I was like, listen, just, it just, to me, that line doesn't make any sense. So we'll see if it shifts at all throughout the day, or maybe at some point during the day, we do get injury news or rest right. news and guys do sit, uh, here out of the break. You know, maybe Ricky Rubio sits, but I mean, okay. No, he <laughs> said, yes, he said, yes. Okay. Which is... You know what? Maybe, maybe that is another indication potentially. Sat Ricky Rubio, first game out of the break. Maybe they do plan on sitting somebody here. Um, but we'll see. We don't know. Cleveland's been one of those teams where we can only speculate, and we've been wrong half the time. We've been right half the time. Right. Uh, Giannis is doubtful for this game. He's dealing with that uh, that hand injury that he suffered uh, just before the All-Star break, uh, which makes LaMelo, Ma- uh, LaMelo Ball our top-priced player uh, on today's slate at $11,000. We've been talking about how yesterday there was a lot of guys priced up a little bit more than we're used to seeing them. Uh, LaMelo obviously has been balling out, no pun on his name there. Uh, 65, 62, 52, and 52, the last four games for him. We talk all the time. Win or lose by uh, large margins or not, uh, Hornets just play their guys. Balls on the floor for 35 to 40 minutes a night, no matter the score. Great pace matchup here against Minnesota. Generally a high-scoring game anytime Minnesota's on the floor. Uh, so probably rightfully so to see 11K LaMelo Ball. I'm just not used to it yet. Yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, it's everything is pointing to it being the correct price. We just have to adapt. And if he's going to be consistently going for 60 fantasy right. points, at least 50 as a floor, then... 
We usually um, bitch when these guys are t- underpriced. We're like, ah, oh, they, they're why aren't yeah. they addressing it? And then they adjust them, and we're like, ah, oh, I kind of wish he was still ninety five hundred. Yeah, I know. So I could play him. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good look. I'm okay. It's a great matchup. This is the best total on the board. Let's see. Yeah, two forty one total, six point spread. Um, Charlotte getting six, so definitely in a definitely an enticing spot for a Lamelo Ball. Yep. Uh, for Milwaukee, we will have Jay Crowder and Bobby Portis available for this game here. Uh, Portis has missed some extended time there with an injury. Uh, Jay Crowder making his season debut following the trade uh, from him over from Phoenix. So uh, how much will Jay Crowder play here? I mean, that's to be determined. But, um, you know, without Giannis, there's certainly available minutes for him on the wing. So uh, not that I'm going to touch him. Uh, in DFS, he is 5K on DraftKings, so they don't really give you any leverage there. Uh, if he was a min price dart throw or whatever, but uh, just mentioning that spot there. They're running up against Miami today. Um, let's kick it off. We, we got point guard spot. We got Lamelo Ball here at 11K. We got SGA. Uh, we had him on the cover of the podcast yesterday, so we were in on him. Uh, he went for uh, 64 fantasy points. This game did go to overtime against Utah. Uh, 39, 8, and 7, but we've talked about it. Uh, if OKC is making the playoffs, it's because they're going to be just carried by SGA here. Um, are you aware at all, though, on the back-to-back, on the road here, going up against Phoenix? I think uh, SGA is just matchup proof at this point. Um, you can obviously shy away. Um you can obviously shay away from oh, Gilders Alexander you. here um, if you would like to. Uh, but, like, you could also get their 10-2. It's cheaper than it was yesterday by, what, $400? Yeah. $300? Um, cheapest price he's been since December or February 1st. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm okay getting there in tournaments. I think LaMelo is going to be prioritized more uh, just considering the game environment. So, I think SGA is a, a perfect pivot off. Uh, going down the list here, uh, Trey Young at 96 against Cleveland. De'Aaron Fox is at 9K against the Clippers here in for 40 last night in 26 minutes. Obviously, we figured that game was going to be a blow. Though, um, you know, Portland there was actually winning that game for a while. Uh, they got off to a huge start yeah, and then just he, fell apart. Let it, Yeah, let it all go. Um, Drew Holiday against Miami is not the greatest spot, but there is no Giannis here. Jalen Brunson at $8,800. Uh, running up against the Wizards. That one's a pretty good spot. We, again, a, a guy that we just have to get used to being this price tag because he's throwing up 50, you know, fantasy point games on us here. Uh, you got Brunson, Poole at 83. Um, Chris Paul's at 79. I really like that. Darius Garland down to 77 after yesterday's price point. So um, this middle range here, if you're not paying up for like LaMelo, like there are definitely some options you can build your lineups around. Yeah, like I'm okay getting Trey um if guys are ruled out in cleveland i mean we saw last night like jamal murray and jokic didn't have a problem scoring against them and i'm not saying every matchup is the same and that everyone's just going to start scoring against cleveland but like it is possible trey mm-hmm. young we know is a talented guy so uh, i don't hate him under 10k probably not going to get to De'Aaron fox it is worth mentioning there's been like significant movement in this line um it opened at 232 and a half it's up to 236 I'm wondering if that has to do with Russell Westbrook being active for the the Clippers tonight. Sure. Um, and like just the Clippers in general, probably a worse defensive team. Like after their, I mean, they lost. So Zubac is out, right? So yeah. Zubats is out. So like Plumley is now their starting center. We know how bad defensively he is. Um, we also know that Bones Highland, Russell Westbrook are not upgrades defensively either. Like I feel like the Clippers, I don't know if they got better. I don't know if they got worse. I, I know they got a lot of guys at the deadline. I know that, right? Yeah. Um, so interesting to see this line move a lot. So, like, I don't hate De'Aaron Fox at 9K. Um, I don't love Drew Holiday, the spot that he's in. Right. We've um, seen him, though, without Giannis this year, just have monster games. Yeah, but he the upside is tremendous. Um so I can get there. Brunson, same thing as you. You, I agree. Like, not used to the price, but he worth could it. be worth it. Yeah. Um, and then Jordan Poole. I said it to you yesterday. I had literally no interest to in paying 9100 to get to him. Mm-hmm. 
I kind of feel the same way at 83, except it's a better matchup. Um, the only thing is, like, Clay's going to play here, we think. Yeah. If Clay doesn't play, I could get to pool. If Clay plays, like, I'm probably off. Um, you mentioned Chris Paul's good price. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I know Devin Booker's back, but I, I just really like Chris Paul. Yeah, it's no, funny. I'm with you. Um, I, same could be said for Darius Garland, like full strength Cleveland team, but 7,700. Yeah, I feel like we talk about this a lot. Darius Garland dips under 8K, like, dude, you know, you take notice. One game. So the last time he was under 8K was February 2nd, but. Between uh, January 16th and today, he's only been under 8K once. So we're going over a month now where he's been under $8,000. And he's the cheapest he's actually been since uh, January 16th. He was $7,500 on that day. Um, he was $7,800 on February 2nd. So this is definitely a, a decreased price tag. Um, mm-hmm. Something we're definitely not used to seeing here. Now you could you scroll the box scores and you know there's definitely days where he's not paying off this tag and then there are days where he explodes so um, you know maybe more of a GPP play unless we find out like Donovan Mitchell's out or Mobley's out or somebody has to be out of the lineup here I think uh, but it is a really good matchup uh, and a good price tag uh, for Garland here. Yeah, last last two times under AK went for fifty. Yep. Um, like it's just he's just one of those dudes like we said all year. He is playing alongside a very high volume guy, but he can be a very high volume guy himself. And he's also an elite passer. Like when he puts those two things together, he breaks slate. So, yep, yep. 100% here. Uh, guys, a little bit below them. Uh, Dinwiddie at 72. You do have Westbrook at 71. I don't know if you're interested. No. Okay. Uh, no. Mike Conley is at $5,700 going up against Charlotte here. Not, not terrible, but he hasn't. It feels like he's still getting weird. his feet wet. Yeah. He's still getting his feet wet a little bit there. Anthony Dude, it's Edwards a is great... Such a volume guy. He's just I think it's away. a great fit. Like, I think they made a great move getting Conley. Um, I think he fits better than D'Lo. Like, I, I like that trade. Uh, he just... Uh, like you said, he just he just needs to get acclimated. Yep. Um, some value plays here. Uh, Oladipo's at 4,700. He's been to be back in the lineup for the first time in a little bit. Um, January 31st was the last time that he played. Uh, no Kyle Lowry still. You gave Vincent starts probably still, but would you rather Oladipo or Vincent here? I would probably stay away from both. Okay. Um, I I would probably play Vincent only because we haven't seen Oladipo in so long. Like, And especially with how often injured he's been, I suspect we wouldn't see like him rush into 30 minutes. So okay. um, I expect... I would play Vincent of the two, but I, truth be told, I don't think I'm going to have many shares of either. All right. Uh, quickly, same price as Oladipo at $4,700. He's definitely been continues to produce uh, mm-hmm. in the minutes and role that he has here. Uh, what's our Chicago status? DeRozan good to go here today? Yeah, DeRozan's back. Um, Patrick Beverly. Right. I, things, Beverly. Things are going to be things are going to be really a nightmare because. I suspect we see like a decrease in minutes from Colby White, um, Goran Dragic probably just fully out of the rotation, um, and then you're just like picking and choosing between Io Desunmo, Caruso, and Beverly. Like who's gonna play minutes? Because they're all, they're all defensive lineup of Beverly Caruso, <laughs> and Patrick Williams out there. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. Um, I, I this is a nightmare situation. It's a nightmare situation. Yeah. Missing out on Westbrook potentially to help expand that offense for Pat Bev. Um, other value guys here. I mean, you you you've been talking a lot of of uh, Delon Wright in twenty nine minutes last two games, right? Dude, I he's mean, good. He's Dude, good, he's good. Right, so forty two hundred bucks. I mean, if this is the minutes, if this is the type of play that he's going to be getting. In this rotation here, you know, there are certainly low floor games, but we always talk about his steals. His steals are always going to be there. And yep. now if he's yep. more involved, you know, 4200 bucks is a little, little dart throw could be something. Uh, Ty Jerome, if guys are out of the lineup here, uh, even he played 30 minutes last night, you know, certainly yep. could find a way into the Warriors rotation if people sit on the back-to-back. He's $3,600. Uh, anybody else here for you? 
Um, with Rozier back, I don't think we can get the DSJ. Yeah. Ubre is back. Ubre back yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. So I think D- the days of DSJ chalk are um, behind us. No, I don't think so. I think um, I think Delon Wright is a pretty good value, okay. um, and I don't think we really need to explore much i mean bones highland like 16 minutes in both games now there's westbrook like yeah you know it's it's gonna be tough sailing for him yep uh top price shooting guards here donovan mitchell's at ninety seven hundred dollars i yeah i I put him in the playbook he's in the core plays (laughs) obviously he goes out there and just just fades stinker has a stinker nine of 22 207 from three four steals my fault guys he my, scored 50 tonight. It's my fault, yeah. You know, 50 actual, I'm not 50 on the actual playbook. Tonight. I won't play him. I won't recommend him on prize picks. Go ahead. Um, but $9,100 for Anthony Edwards. Love it. Love, love it. it. Love it. Love, love it. Love it. Love it. Love that price tag. You're going to game yep. stack your lineups today. LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and you can probably lock in 110 points, right? Like 100 mm-hmm. points right there. Just those two guys. So, yep. Um, no shade on Devin Booker at 8700 I mean, guys consistently been priced up over 9 k for a bit. Uh, now we're down to 87. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. And the minutes are up too. Right, that's what I'm saying. So um, I definitely don't, I mean, definitely don't mind Devin Booker at $8,700. Uh, how would you rank this out? Edwards, Booker, Levine's at 84 Paul George is at $8,200. Ooh. Play at eight k if he plays against Houston. I mean, there's a lot of good guys here in this, this, this upper range of uh, shooting guards. I would put Edwards firmly first. Um, I know Westbrook's there, but like Paul George, eighty-two feels wrong. <laughs> like multi-position eligible, like not, and it's like the best multi-position eligible shooting guard, small forward. Mm-hmm. Like you have, uh, like that's that's just not a correct price. No. Um, he'd probably be second. Booker would probably be third, and I'd probably stay away from everyone else. Okay. I guess Clay at eight K is fine. Uh, but again, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Steve Kerr announced yesterday that he's going to play back to backs in the second half. So, like, but again, we've also heard so much. He did play one back to back already, thirteen and fourteen. Right, and now like the official announcement. But we've heard this. Uh, sure. So much official announcement from Steve Kerr just don't turn out to be true. So. I don't know. Also, John, note just dating back to Delon Wright. Yeah, Bradley, Bradley Beal, Beal questionable. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, that could, I mean, Beal looked amazing last time out. Um, but this guy, like his injuries, I, I think he's still the highest paid player in the NBA. If I, if memory serves, if if no one's gotten an extension, yeah, he just can't stay out of his own way. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were we were saying like seven K Bradley Beal was far too cheap. Stupid. He was yeah, going to explode at some point, and then boom, 44, 40, 45, 49, 44. Right. 29 against Portland, and then 56 against Minnesota. So, uh, yeah, Bradley Beal's in. We're in. Um, but, I mean, he, he played those minutes DeLon Wright did with Beal in the lineup there. True, so true. Not really impacting on there too That's true. much. Um, other mid-tier guys, we didn't mention uh, Hero at point guard, but $7,300 for Hero is not awful um, going up here. again. I know it's the matchup against Milwaukee maybe you're a little bit off of, but um, I don't mind Hero uh, at 73 uh, how I would mention you... Giddy. I would throw Giddy in that mix too. Sure. Least, him and Giddy are in the same category, hero. And my my played... worry is that Giddy played 38 minutes last night. Yeah, look at the, the trend. Without, he plays 30 overtime. minutes and then he plays 20 minutes. So. Yeah, yeah. It was overtime. Um, it was great for my lineups because I had a little mini stack in that game. Um, so loved loved having that overtime. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Are you, are you chasing the 45 point game from Mikel Bridges? <laughs> the 45 actual so that's what i'm saying 45 <laughs> actual points 17 of 24 against miami there yeah i mean look he was the i think that like the picks were a large part of that trade too but like in terms of players Mikel bridges was like the coveted player of the deal at least the return obviously durant was the coveted player but like the coveted player for brooklyn to receive was Mikel bridges yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, you, maybe. Do you pay the $7,400 here? That's the tough thing. Uh, you can if you want. Okay. I think a lot of people will shy away, and, and you'll get a loaned Mikel Bridges if you want to look at it from that perspective. Sure. 
Um, all right, under 6K guys here. Where are we? Uh, anybody here that you're just kind of targeting? Or, um, you know, how do you feel about this group? It's a lot of tweeners. A lot of tweeners. Um, so, like, Josh Hart's looked great since arriving in New York. I think he's the perfect Thibodeau guy. Um, don't think he can get there if he's going to play 24 to 26 minutes. Uh, I don't know what Norm's going to look like with Westbrook and like all these new additions probably can't get there. I think you could play DiVincenzo if Wiggins is still out. I don't know if we have word. I think he was going to miss. Uh, yeah, yeah he's gonna miss without, time, yeah. yeah, without a t- uh, timetable to return. Um, so I think you can get to DiVincenzo. He started. Um, I what, what do started. we do with a Kogi? What is this? What is happening with Josh? I Kogi? mean, dude, he doesn't have like they don't have Kevin Durant. They traded. They traded their entire. No, I know that. But wing like, depth. Where did no, this Josh Kogi I, come from? <laughs> right. Like, well, he came from. I mean, he came from the lottery. Uh, yeah, he, and then he Minnesota was didn't play him like six minutes a game. No, I know. Um, look, if he's going to play this, if he's going to get these minutes, he has to be on a radar, right? Like 5,200 bucks. I mean, yeah. Uh, 16, 13, 10, 17 shot attempts. He's shooting 50 plus percent from three. Rebounds have been there. Steals, three and uh, at least three steals in three or four games. So it's, it's interesting because. You look at the minutes, right? Like in this game that Devin Booker saw his minutes go up, Akogi's played forty one. Yeah, they don't have depth. That's you the know problem. Who, so what they did, I'm looking at it, John. So what they did was they played their starters mm-hmm. and then they played their bench guys seven to twelve minutes, except for one particular bench guy who is also a shooting guard eligible player. Who also they just acquired? Shooting guard eligible player that they just acquired. Who is it? Terrence Ross oh, played Ross. twenty-seven minutes or twenty-five minutes at twenty-seven fantasy points, seventeen shot attempts. Cameron um, Payne's questionable tonight too. Just saw that, so that's mm, so Shamit's out. Durant is out. Yeah. If Payne sits, I would get to a Kogi and I would get to yeah, Terrence Ross. I would get the Terrence all- Ross. I would also I would get to both those guys. Who I mean, shooting. Ross, twenty five minutes, seven of seventeen shooting, one of eight from three. A couple more of those drop, man. Yep, yep. You know, you're popping. So, yep. um, I I don't I don't mind it. Again, these are just you you just ignore the name of Josh Akogi and the numbers pop for you. Well, so. you know what I think is interesting. I think it's something that we need to like, and it's something that we should start stressing. I think um, just given the time of year, right? Yeah. Like, there are thirteen teams in the Western Conference. That are that are jockeying for eight spots or ten spots, I guess. Mm-hmm. Essentially, Phoenix is the five seed, but like the ten seed is three games behind them. Like they're gonna just use like this is the part of the year, especially in the West. Like everyone's just gonna be playing their guys. It feels like if if they think that they can make the playoffs, like Phoenix the last game before the break versus the Clippers, who right now that's the four five matchup. Like. They just played all their guys. I think that's what's going to happen. So if that's what their rotation is going to be without Kevin Durant and there's no Cameron Payne, that's just something that we have to consider. Like, hey, Phoenix is going to use their guys as much as they possibly can. And that's something that we probably should consider, like, kind of across the NBA as well. Can you tell me who's playing guard for Houston right now? (laughs) Yeah, um, no Jalen Green, no Kevin Porter. They traded Eric Gordon. Traded Eric Gordon. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to start Jay Sean Tate. Um, he got hurt in that OKC game. Okay. So I think that that's like a little misleading. Okay. Um, they probably start Deshaun Nix because that's what they were doing um, The like in early February. They were starting him. We could maybe see Josh Christopher start, but they haven't really liked to do that. They like bringing him off the bench. And then I think we're going to see Ty Ty Washington. Like, all right, this is what I think is going to happen. Washington, Deshaun, Nick split. So, like, if I were to project, I would project them, like, in a 24-minute split each. Mm -hmm. Ty Ty Washington, maybe a little bit leaning towards um, Deshaun, Nick. We might see Trevor Hudgens play a few minutes. Um he was 
called up from the G League and played some minutes. I think their starting lineups is Knicks, Tate, Martin, Smith, uh, Shingun. That would be my guess if they're starting lineup. Okay. I would just, um, I'm just looking at them against the Warriors. I'm like, who are they even playing? Like, I, I think Ty Ty Washington plays a bunch off the bench. I think Josh Christopher plays off the bench. Okay. Um, and then we know what Tari Eason does. He plays 20 minutes when yeah. everyone's healthy. So. Yeah. Okay, I was just um, scrolling through, and I was like, I, I don't know. I haven't seen, like, any Houston guys outside of the two that are already out. I'm like, where are, yeah. their, where are their players on this board? And they're just free. Yeah, um, I think Nick's, Nick's shooting guard only is, like, moderately interesting if he's starting. Would you, st- um, would you play Jay Sean Tate at 41 if he starts? I would, I would, yeah, that's I a would. Good number. I would. I would probably just play Jay Sean Tate regardless um, just because you look at their team and, like, he's – Someone that's always been pretty productive for them and, yeah. like, just plays minutes. Okay. Uh, we've discussed quickly already. Um, I mean, Karis LeVert would obviously be a chalk play if somebody sits out today for Cleveland here. Uh, yep. We talked about Terrence Ross. Any other shooting guard value that you're taking a peek at? No. Um, Seth Curry back and, like, appropriately priced. Yeah, but I don't know what the, in that game either. So. Yeah, I don't know what the minutes are going to be. Um, I would love to play Bogdan. Bogdan, don't know what his minutes are going to be. Um, Who got the John Col- lo- with John Collins out? Who's getting bumps there? That's so. Hunter I would plays sus- power forward, right? suspect Hunter plays power forward, and maybe we see Bogdan enter the lineup. But they've also done that with like AJ Griffin. So oh, they have Sadiq Bay now. I forgot all about that. And they have Sadiq Bay. So Sadiq Bay will possibly start i yeah, think he so started they started for collins when, when he was out yep yep so they'll start so they'll start city so um i think good uh, you know like dart throw on bogdan bogdan with collins out like he because they could play it like you said they could play hunter at the four when bays off the floor too yep. so um that, but that, you know who got a, some good run last night terrence davis i don't know if we can get there but he's been firmly in that rotation um and we know Terrence Davis is a firecracker when he, yeah. when he's making shots. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, small forward guys at the top here. Kawhi Leonard's at ninety two hundred dollars. I like this price movement, and I know it's Westbrook related, and uh, and uh, Westbrook's obviously going to take away from guys, but like not right off the bat, you know. I would hope not. I would also hope that he goes to a team and Leonard and George sit him down. And they're like, all right. <laughs> it didn't work for you in the with the Lakers because you tried to do too much. Right distribute the basketball russell that's right. all you have to do let us shoot uh so leonard 492 great price him and pg we talked about it great uh derozan's under 8k yeah <laughs> i i mean never listen, thought you'd I, see the day i know recent form derozan hasn't been great but come on come on he's not he's not a 7800 dollars player he's also been dealing with the quad for like some time right so he said he's 100 percent. 100 percent. that's what he said you know, and sometimes we overstate matchups. He is going to match up with Mikel Bridges here, yeah. and that's not fun. Um, but it is it is a very eye opening price tag. But that's where we are with the Bulls. Um, <laughs> that's true. That's really. Just... I mean, he hasn't. Uh, November twenty first, last time he was under eight thousand dollars. We're we're almost done with the year, and he was um, he was under eight k like once. So. Yeah, once. One time this season, he was under $8,000. Uh, he went for 46 fantasy points in that game. It was against Boston. Um, I don't know. It, that feels just a uh, too cheap play. So Yeah, it's criminal. It's criminal. Um, yeah, I like that a lot there. Kuzma's got small forward eligibility. I don't mind that at $7,800, but I'd probably play DeRozan over him. Well, if Beal's... And it, but it, we'll see yeah, if, I guess if, if Beal, Beal sits... plays. Yeah, it's different, I guess. Um, not going to play Oubre on his comeback, though we do generally like... Oh. Oh. Middleton? Nope. You see who Charlotte's playing today. Mmm. The Gordon Hayward experience. Gordon Hayward against Minnesota. I don't think people know. People don't know, unless they've listened to us, like, how much Gordon Hayward apparently hates Minnesota. There is... Go look the game logs. There hasn't been a game where Gordon Hayward's been in Minnesota, it feels like. 
uh, and he hasn't just exploded. So I'm gonna look up his career numbers. I'm looking up the career, his career. Can you split. get like splits in Minnesota? Do, do we have those? Do we have those numbers somewhere? But um, yeah, it started in Boston. I think is when we started paying attention to it. He was just popping off for, like 50 fantasy point games. <laughs> um, it's obviously tough because like everybody's back healthy yeah, for I that know. lineup to, to like pay sixty two hundred dollars for Gordon Hayward, but. Um, just for the old narrative sake, there you know there was a three year stretch it felt like where yeah. Hayward was in Minnesota dropping fifty fantasy point games there. So, um, but yes, also to your point, Middleton at sixty three hundred dollars. If there is no minutes limit, there has been on him. He's been playing twenty five, um, which is bumped. For, it's in those last two games before the break. It's, we saw yeah. twenty 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 two, then twenty five twenty five. So that was great to see. Yep, I agree with you. Uh, Jalen Williams at 61 feels a little bit too expensive for me uh, yep. at that price. RJ Barris at 5700 Yep. I, I like, mean, kind of like that. I mean, yeah, it's just we we saw the minutes before the trade kind of di- trending in the wrong direction. Um, Still played 32 against Atlanta. I know, but I, I and it's not bad, but like if he's not scoring, he doesn't like do a whole lot else. Yeah. So we needed the thirty-five to forty minutes from him. Okay, it's but fifty-seven is a good price. Yeah, it's a great it's price. That's cheap, sure. cheap, cheap. Uh, KJ Martin, we talked about, will be in. He's one of the few Houston guys that will play, um, you know, solid minutes there. I'm always in on DeAndre Hunter, but this is a tough matchup for him mm-hmm. uh, going up against Cleveland. So you know, maybe if guys sit for Cleveland, I'll be more in. But this might be a fade spot for me for uh, DeAndre Hunter. Uh, Denny, of course, we'll have to see if guys are in or out of the lineup here. Um, you know, when he's in the starting lineup or, or Beal's out or something like that, we, we can maybe get some more run out of Denny here, but probably not paying 52 with everybody healthy. Uh, thoughts on, like, Kyle Anderson uh, at $5,100. Dude, I love playing Kyle Anderson these days. Um, it's a great matchup, and there's not anyone out, like, Minnesota's coming out of the break fully healthy outside of Carl Anthony Towns, but the fact that Carl Anthony Towns is out just says it all. I mean, yeah. so two games before the break, they did not start Anderson against Dallas. He played 24 minutes and he looked great. They then were like, you know what? We got to start this guy. Started him against Washington. He looked even better. And I think having Mike Conley on the floor helps his offense mm-hmm. um, get off a little bit more because – he's not dealing with D'Angelo Russell anymore. Like with D'Angelo Russell, it's like Anderson's what, like eighth on the pecking right. order in terms of shooting. So yeah. um, I love Kyle Anderson, 5,100 played him in that game last time out. Uh, and I'm going to do it again here. I also would play Cam Johnson, 5,200. Sure. I think that's it. He played a bunch of minutes for Brooklyn. Um, he's going to have a lot of opportunity to take a bunch of shots every time out. Okay. Uh, anybody else here under 5k for you? Um, you know, white bread Harry B is back. Yeah. Uh, Jaden McDaniels is fine. I think he's a GPP play. Sadiq Bay, you know, yeah. gonna probably start at power forward. I don't hate that. I know he hasn't looked great, but cheap should start. I gave Lou Dort a shout out yesterday. Um, forty four hundred felt too cheap. It was too cheap. Double double, thirty five fantasy points. I'd go back to well on Lou Dort. I think, um, you know, with OKC in the playoff picture, they're playing him a bunch of minutes. You mentioned Jay Sean Tate. Yeah. You can always take a dart throw at Kendrick Williams. Whether you know he had twenty eight minutes and had twenty six fantasy points last night. Sure. Um, that's that's. Yeah, we talked Terrence Ross. He got dual eligibility already, so. Yeah, that's probably it. Tony and Prince played twenty two minutes, but not really enough volume there, so. Um, all right, power forward position then. Here we go. Randall's at 98. Zinger's at 95. Butler at $8,500. Kind of an interesting little spot there for him. Uh, Portis, as we mentioned, 7600 No, No price dump for Robbie Portis at all that time off. Uh, Mobley at 73 You know, where are we looking this top half of the power forward spot? Randall's fine. I don't hate getting there. Same thing could be said for Portis. I guess don't hate getting there. Um... Especially if Beal's out. Butler, another price tag I think is fine. I mean, the matchup should be pretty good. Sands, Giannis. Portis, I mean, I know Giannis is, like, out and stuff, but he hasn't played in a month. 
it was a knee injury. Like, I assume there's some kind of restriction, but we'll have to see, wait and see. If there's no restriction, maybe I can get to Portis. Um, and then Mobley, I think, is a, a very solid price tag, 73. I didn't think there was any reason for him to be 8K. You proved me wrong, obviously. <laughs> Thirty-one. Um, <laughs> I mean, nine, three straight games of nine rebounds, twenty-three and thirty-one actual points scored against Philly and Denver. So, like, going yeah. up against two of the better backcourt guys, and and be not that he's matching one-on-one on Embiid and Jokic, but I mean, they're there, and <laughs> he's uh he's out there producing. So, um, so I could get to Mobley. I could get to Draymond if he plays in tournaments. Um, thirty fantasy points in twenty-four minutes, pretty good. Uh, PJ Washington, another guy like. Tournaments you worry only. about Ubre back here at all or no? Yeah, I mean, all these Charlotte guys are tournaments only. I, I think, like, worry about them all. Even, yeah. like, Lamelo to some extent, just because Rozier wasn't there last game. Ubre hasn't been there in a while. Like, right. it's all... Like, Lamelo, I feel, is the best. Someone's coming off the bench like, for them now, right? With Ubre, Hayward. Probably. Like, who sits? Who's off the bench? Probably, probably Ubre, if I had to guess. it's. But I would say it's between Ubre and Hayward, mm-hmm. but... Um, you could, you know, they're all whatever. I think Jabari Smith is really interesting in tournaments. He has a big time usage rate without Kevin Porter and Jalen Green. Mm-hmm. And I know a pair of Shingoon's around, but you know, they only played him like twenty three minutes the other day. I know again, I know blowouts. That that's the biggest worry. He's like, Houston is so bad right now. That yeah, even they're, so in, they're not even playing these guys in blowouts. They're just like, know. you know, so you can't even rely on that. So that's, that's yeah, tournament. They're all kind of just tournament tournament plays yeah that's kind of where i'm where i'm at with it as well um i mean kaminga if guys are out tonight I yeah mean, it started he started last night yeah 12 shot attempts in back-to-back games is encouraging there um with kaminga uh, let's see here anybody else for you a power forward no um well, Art, oh, Art is... well does kevin love play minutes here yeah he's... min price 3k kevin love He is going to make his debut, right? What does that mean? Um, you know, I do you I sign don't know. Kevin Love to play in ten minutes, or do you sign him to play twenty? Or do you, what do you do with Kevin Love here? It's not. It's would you put very, him in the lineup at three K? It's very enticing. He can play back up four and five. It's very enticing. Oh, uh, um, probably. Yeah, I mean, just right. I guess he, he. I don't know if he's a core play. If he's like, going to play today, though, like we're sure he's going to debut, right? We'll make his heat debut. I assume he's going to be like firmly playing, yeah. Right. So, like, I'm not saying he goes out there and plays 35 minutes, right? But he could play 20 to 25 minutes, and he only needs to get you. 15 fantasy points, 18 fantasy points for 6x. Yep. Yep. Um, that's a couple of threes and a few boards. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I like Kevin Love at 3K a lot. I don't hate him. I, I don't hate him either. All right. Center position here. Um, Sabonis come off of a triple double last night at $9,900. And he gets Plum Dog. He gets Plumley. Um, you know, under 10K Sabonis, 56 and 63 the last couple of games here. Uh, we just never liked paying ten five for him, so yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a drop. Uh, Vooch at foot at ninety four, Bams at ninety three. Your other top price guys. No thanks. <laughs> so bonus, yes. No thanks to the other two. Okay, uh, DeAndre Ayton at eighty one hundred. Tournaments just with Devin Booker back, and you know the production clearly is wishy washy. Like. 60 against Sacramento, 27 against the Clippers. Right. So. Uh, Go Bear, $7,200. $1,000 price bump from the last time we saw him on the floor here, but uh, 21 and 17 points in the last two games, and 14 and 19 rebounds, and he gets Charlotte. Dude, I feel like we've been saying it for a long time. Like, he's been so vastly underpriced for so long. Mm-hmm. And he's been dealing with an injury and now had to now got like a week off to rest the injury too like i think gobert's and he should be ak like playing with mike conley look at the offense the last two games like mm-hmm. there's just the correlation is completely there i'm i am 100 in on gobert and then you just 
you know, cherry on top is a Charlotte. Right. That's um let's see here definitely mean definitely like him at 7200 so it's such yep. a great spot uh, um is mark williams a 6k too expensive for you now probably not okay um it's not like as like plug and play as it's obviously been but i think he's still in play i mean 30 minutes 33 fantasy points double double the four blocks were still there right like mm-hmm. yep uh let's see here it feels a little bit too much for me. Yes, against Gobert too. I don't know. Uh, I'm iffy on it. Iffy. Uh, let's see. I mean, Plumlee at 51. Would you would you play him knowing the minutes could be are going to be there for him? Yeah, I would. I mean, we saw Plumlee. Plumlee's been having a career year. How many times did we call him out? Like, oh, there's Mason Plumlee again, right. mid six Ks. He like, doesn't need to shoot to get his stuff. He's just out there. So yeah, I, I like Plumlee quite a bit at 51. Yep. Uh, Looney's been a rebounding monster. 13, 13, 14, and 15. Played only 20 minutes last night. Had 10 points, 15 boards. Yeah, I played him. I'm sad. I played him even though he came off the bench. I was super happy to see him, like, keeping them in the game, and then they just couldn't hang. Double-doubles in three straight games for Kevin Looney. So, um, I don't mind it. Definitely some risk, but I don't mind it. Uh, Let's see. Any other value centers for you? You know what the pivot off playing Mark Williams is? It's by 4K Nick Richards, who's yeah. been like Mark Mark Williams light when Mark Williams was coming sure. off the bench, right? Um, nothing else. Uh, K, like you mentioned, Kalov 3K. I think that's um, perfectly fine if you want to get there. But there's no like, there's no Mark Williams down here, right? right? There's no like uh, play him. And he could, if you play him, he might play 13 minutes, but he might give you 35 fantasy points right. in 13 minutes. So. Um, all right. So let's build our lineup here. We like a lot of mid tier guys. We know there's some value here. You know, do you want to plug Kevin Love in at like a forward or something like that? Or like, what do you want to uh, 3K? I mean, I don't know. Okay. I know. <laughs> if you want to plug Kevin Love in, it's fine. I mean, I'm asking you. We're building this lineup together, man. I'm like. Like, I think there's going to be a role, and I understand Kevin Love is not a 3K player. Sure, let's play Kevin Love. I mean, he's 3K. Okay. I, there's a... Just, there's a... I don't think he DMPs. There's obviously... They said he's going to debut. I don't think... I mean, we'll get news if he's not going to play. I mean... I mean, you can be active and not play and not well, get news. I, I mean, they said he's... I don't know. They said he's going to debut. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're going to not play. I don't either. I'm just, you know, just we Cleve. He was active for Cleveland and didn't he DMP'd for like two weeks straight. So I are we know. playing? Are we playing Go Bear? Yeah, I think we should play Go Bear. Okay. I I really like I really like Go Bear under eight K right now. What shooting guard? George Edwards, Booker, both, all of them, both. Two of two of the. We can three. actually <laughs> play all three of them. Actually, Booker we can, can we can Booker probably can play, play point guard. Edwards can play shooting guard. George or Leonard for small forward. Small forward, yeah, I, yeah, and then we could play. Um, if we play Booker, about... Edwards, George, Love, Gobert, it's forty six hundred dollars a player for a guard forward and utility. And I know we had other value that we Delon Delon Wright, Jay Sean Tate, right? Jay Sean Tate and Delon Wright, right there, boom boom. Uh, or T- or or the sauce, Terrence Ross, thirty six. Um, yeah, who is the other? Oh, it was a Kogi, right? Um, so. Do you want to do Tate or Ross? Or right, who would you who would you pick two of the three? Tate, right, Ross. Tate, right, Ross. Uh probably Tate and Wright. If I if I okay. would probably be the two. Um I don't hate getting to Terrence Ross either though. Well, like, we have all a fifty five hundred dollar utility play. How much? Fifty five? Yep. Martin, Cam J. A Kogi, if you want to double up on the Phoenix guys there. We would triple. Uh, well, oh, oh yeah, yeah, we don't have Terrence Ross. No, we didn't, yeah, we didn't play uh, Ross here. So. We, we could go Kogi. Do you want to go Kogi? Yeah, that could work. And Plumlee's there. Kyle Anderson, 51. I kind of like Kyle Anderson okay. in this matchup. I, I mean, I I said it um, the game before the break. I was like, Minnesota's really stackable. Like, and I think it's like price related, but like that feels similar again. Like, yeah, Conley's not really shooting. He's going to distribute. We know Anderson's going to distribute, and then if Gobert's going to score and rebound, and Edwards is just going to keep doing what he's doing. Like, Jay there's Sean really Tate a lot or Jonathan to like. Kaminga. 
Um, I feel like it's Tate with everyone who's out, but I'm also okay going to the cum bucket. Oh, we have the money. To do, they're the same price, so we can pick one or the other. So I would, I would lean Tate if I knew there was a world where he was starting. Okay. All right. Well, then that's our lineup. Then we have Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, Paul George, Kevin Love, Rudy Gobert, Dylan Wright, Jay Sean Tate, Kyle Anderson, with four hundred bucks left over. Little, little Minnesota stack. Little there. mini, little mini stack. Got got uh, no no Charlotte representation, but that's fine. Had three guys from from Minnesota and a great spot here against Charlotte. Highest game total on the board, like you mentioned. So uh, that's what we got here. I believe Ryan Kirk sees your guy on the playbook here today, James, of course. And I will be in the Discord there answering all your questions up until roster lock. Get us on Twitter if you need to find us there as well. Good luck, and we will talk to you guys later.